happen if a really large CME or coronal mass ejection hit Earth. A CME, which is often associated with solar flares, is a burst of plasma that goes from the sun's corona into the heliosphere where the Earth is. In 1859, there actually was such an event that we call the Carrington event. And at the time, it disabled the telegraph network, set fire to telegraph paper, electronically shocked the telegraph operators, and you can see Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights all the way down to Columbia. But now we are more dependent on electricity and technology than ever. So what would happen? So the very first thing we would lose is our satellites because that would be the first thing a geomagnetic storm would hit. Currently satellites are set up to protect themselves from small geomagnetic storms. They're able to turn off and they also have shielding that protects the electronics that are inside. But with the Carrington level event, it wouldn't be enough. Anything hit by that storm would be fried, which means that anything that is reliant on satellites would be useless, including things like GPS. And a lot of industries depend on GPS, like defense and agriculture. Since the satellite would no longer be functioning, that means it would no longer be able to maneuver, which means that eventually atmospheric drag would cause it to slow down, which would make it lose altitude and in some cases lead to the satellites deorbiting altogether. Our atmosphere protects us from smaller geomagnetic storms, but a Carrington level event would be able to get through and that means it's coming for our electrical grid. So these storms create what is called a geomagnetic induced current, which is much greater than anything our grid can handle. Now there are things in place to protect us from smaller geomagnetic storms, but again, a Carrington level event would be able to overpower it, which means it would cause widespread damage. This damage would be so extensive and so widespread that it could take months to even years to get power back to the parts of the world that it affected. The chances of a Carrington level event happening in the next 100 years is 12%, which might be small, but it's still a threat that shouldn't be ignored. We currently get any warnings about any dangerous space weather from NOAA through the Space Weather Prediction Center. Center, but that program is going to be affected by the budget cuts that go into effect next year.